Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. It is Chelsea. They take on West Ham United and it's live. Hello and welcome to West London and we're talking today about two teams who have fabulous traditions Chelsea and West Ham United Great to be with you from Stamford Bridge I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is alongside me to provide expert analysis Stuart, how do you see this going? Well the only important area Derek is going to be that midfield If Chelsea can dominate that area and create an overload they're going to control the game That's going to be key to who wins this match Jared Bowen, promising looking attack from West Ham. He's in here. And that is it. The opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again here, 1 0 the score. Kukureya. Enzo Fernandez. Given away by Chelsea. Thomas Sochi. Keep the ball moving. Options at the centre. Sound piece of defending. Jackson on the ball. Well, good run and good ball control. It's part of his game, holding the ball up and waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. Palmer with it. He had to react, and did. Real chance! Well, good work to deny the opportunity. And short it is. Brazilians there. A high press. And it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Mohamed Kudus. And does well to keep it in play. The hammer is unable to retain possession. More details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? He keeps looking down and feeling his foot, so that's obviously the problem. And I think it came from that last challenge. Cheers, Jeff. More than decent passing sequences, but they need a leveler. Marvellous anticipation! What can Chelsea do from this position? That didn't go as a plan in the end. Shielding the ball admirably. Tomasz Suchek. And he has options available. High quality defending.
Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the balls ended up in the back of their net. Oh dear, just look at his reaction. David Moyes now has to get his team back on track here. So back underway following the equaliser. Edson Alvarez. the defender, so a corner now. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Unfortunately, and a throw in to come. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Connor Gallagher. And space to cross it. Free kick to Chelsea.
player who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Yeah, what a performance he's putting in here. Great movement, lots of energy, and a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. So, back in business, the second half underway. And the Hammers' difficulties were there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? Very quick thinking there. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. Mohamed Kudus. developing it's an Alvarez attacking possibilities for West Ham a chance to whip it in and space for him to cut in oh danger here great opportunity and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again deliver it with accuracy strength and control a big part of this game well really fine goalkeeping good timing stop and there's the delivery and dealt with it nicely extending an invitation to have them come at them. Likes to run with the ball on his feet. Can he put it in? Oh, a brilliantly timed tackle when it really mattered. Edson Alvarez. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. the 
that will live long in the memory. Jokic. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Mano Gusto we'll cross it in here. They keep plugging away. But they took care of the situation defensively. of the game, particularly in that midfield area and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer and Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. 
clearly the difference maker today.